Hi, I'm Sandy Beaupre, and I'll be guiding you through this simple soma scan and gentle pandiculation exploration. So start by either sitting down or standing. And if it's comfortable for you, just close your eyes and start to just tune in to your body and feel your feet flat on the ground. Take a moment here to sort of rate and sense your current sense of groundedness or connectedness or how embodied you feel. So on a scale of zero to 10, Decide where you are on that scale. Don't think about it too hard. And when you have that number, I'm going to ask you to come down to the ground, lie on your mat or on the floor, on a blanket, on your back, and take a few minutes to get comfortable. Perhaps if you have lower back pain or if you can't lie with your legs straight out, you might want to put something, a little pillow or a blanket under each knee. And you may also need a little flat blanket or something under your head. You don't want to have a big pillow or anything like that, just so that your head can rest comfortably. It's also okay that if you don't need any of that, you can just lie with your legs straight out with a little bit of space between them. Bring your arms down to your sides at around a 45 degree angle. Take up a little bit of space with your arms. Don't have them tucked into your body. And just make sure that you're comfortable. We're going to be lying here for a little bit of time. So a couple of things for this practice that you'll want to be mindful of is that A, you're not in any pain or any discomfort. And that B, that you feel safe. So at any point during this practice, if something doesn't feel good for you, or if you start to um, feel any feelings of unsafety, then feel free to open your eyes or stop the practice and return to it at another time. Remember that every time you come to practice and pay attention to yourself, you're just a little bit different each time. So we're just paying attention to what's happening in the present moment and to honor wherever you are at this particular time. So I'm going to ask you to start by noticing the cadence of your breath without force, without trying to change anything and without judgment. Simply notice. Is there a rise and fall of your belly? Can you notice any movement in your ribs? As you're noticing your breath, can you also just start to notice any other areas in your body that might still have a little bit of activation. Check in with your jaw and your forehead, even your scalp, maybe even your buttocks, your glute muscles. And as you start to tune into your breath, Remember that your breath is your guide and to never force your guide. Can you start to 
consciously let go of any other muscle activation that you become aware of. Simply monitoring what is happening in your body. Notice if you are breathing in and out through your nostrils or through your mouth or a combination of the two. If it's comfortable for you, do your best to breathe in and out of your nostrils. And slowly start to influence your breathing just slightly with the intention of asking yourself how gentle, how slow and how easeful can I breathe right now? And as you're tuning into your breath, can you also just tune into your emotional state or the state of your mind? And just knowing that wherever you are right now, it's perfectly okay. And I'd like you to bring your attention right down to your feet and to your heels and notice how your heels are touching and connected to the floor. And notice the difference between your left heel and your right heel. And are they touching the floor in a different position? Is one foot splayed out to the side more than the other? Just notice. And slowly bring your attention up to your calves. Again, noticing the surface area that's connected to the ground and how it might differ from the right side to the left side. How much space is underneath your knees? What do the back of your thighs feel like? And then let your attention rest at your pelvis, right at the back of your sacrum, resting on the floor, which is that little triangle bone, right at the base of your spine. And if that triangle bone was uh, a balancing, like a plate, would it be lying exactly flat, or does it feel like it's tipped to one side or tipped forward or backwards and just notice notice how the weight in the right side of your pelvis or the back of your pelvis your right butt cheek and your left butt cheek are resting and notice if there's any imbalance of weight between the two? Are you tipping into one side? Does one side feel heavier into the ground? And how does that relate to the tipping of your sacrum and to the rest of your leg and how your foot and heel are positioned? Is there a connection? Now notice your lower back the space behind your lower back. Again, does it feel like one side is lifted off of the ground more than the other? Does it feel like there's a lot of space there or a little bit of space? Feel the middle of your back connected to the ground and the surface area there. And just notice the quality of sensation there. You may even, as I'm guiding you through this, like to use your own words to describe what it is that you're sensing. 
just in your mind. Notice the back of your shoulder blades and how your two shoulder blades might be resting on the mat. Are they flat? Does it feel like one is positioned in a little bit of a different way? Take a moment to notice the right side. And from your shoulder blade, bring your attention to the top of your arm bone and allow your attention to slide down your arm to your elbow, then to your forearm, to your wrist, your hands and your fingers. And sense and feel how the position of the back of your shoulder blade and how it's resting is influencing even the position of the rest of your arm and maybe how your palm is positioned. Is it flat on the ground? Is it kind of halfway open? Is it fully open up to the ceiling? Just notice your whole arm. And now bring your attention to your left shoulder blade. And take a minute just to notice the position of just that bone at the back and how it's resting on the mat. And again, slide your attention to the top of your arm bone, down your left upper arm to your elbow, down your left forearm to your wrist, hand, and fingers. And again, notice how the position of this shoulder blade, how it differs from the right side. And notice if even the position of your hand or your wrist is slightly different and in relation. How is it different? What does the quality of your left arm feel like compared to your right arm? Are you able to connect and sense and feel one side better than the other? So bring your attention back up to the middle of your back and slide your attention up now to the base of your neck. And notice the amount of space in your cervical spine, which is your, your neck, the top of your spine at your neck. Is there a lot of space or a little bit of space? Feel the back of your head resting on the floor. And again, notice the surface area. Is it straight in the center with your eyes pointing straight up? If you were to allow your head just to let go and roll where it wanted to roll, would it roll to the right or to the left? Is your chin tipping down or tipping up towards the ceiling? And notice how the position of your head and your chin changes the direction of your eyesight and your vision, even if your eyes are closed right now. If you wanted to, you could open your eyes for a second just to notice where your line of vision is in relation to how your head is positioned, how your brain is organized, the top part to rest. Notice the front of your face, any of the tension there. Feel each individual eye. Notice your right eye. Notice your left eye. Do they feel different? Slide your attention down your throat to your chest. 
into your belly. And once again, just notice your breath. Is your breath the same? How has it changed? And just slowly slide your attention down each leg, your right leg and your left leg, past your knees, down to your ankles and back down to your feet. For a moment, notice your entire body, front and back, 360 degrees, Notice what sensations you feel. If you were lying in a clay bath right now, or one of those clay mats where you put your fingers or your hands or feet impressions in, what sort of impression would your body leave if you were to stand up? Notice where the heaviest points in your body are. And slowly and gently, we're going to add in some gentle pandiculation now. So bring your attention back up to your buttocks and focus on your right glute muscle only and slowly contract your right buttock muscle. Notice what happens as you contract. And as slowly and gently as you can, start to ease off of that contraction, just doing less, doing less, doing less, until there's nothing left to do and let everything go. And were you able to control that? in a smooth motion or was it jumpy, jerky, shaky or did you drop halfway off? Do that one more time. Squeeze your right glute. Notice the contraction. Just a gentle contraction, enough that you can sense it. As you slowly and easily start to release the contraction, you're teaching your brain how to re-control and re-lengthen the muscle. And just slowly ease off with attention and control until there's nothing left to let go of and completely release and relax. Now go ahead and do that with your left glute muscle. Contract and hold. And as you slowly release, notice how it's different on this side. Take your time and let everything go at the end. And then go ahead and do that one more time. Contract your glute muscle. Notice if there's any other muscles that are trying to help out. Just let all of that go. Focus just on the left glute muscle and then slowly unwind. And notice, is it easier to control on one side? Or does it feel like it's easier to connect? So that is a very simple pandiculation, a three-part pandiculation where you contract and notice the contraction. You slowly release with control and attention. 
when your brain is learning something new and learning how to volu take back voluntary control and then letting everything go. Now just once, squeeze both of your glute muscles at the same time and then slowly ease off. And notice which one is easier to control. And then let everything go. Come back to your right arm and easily and gently go ahead and keep your arm straight but lift it off of the floor just an inch or two and notice what muscles are contracting to do this movement. Can you keep everything else in your body soft? And then as if you're placing down a fragile, gentle item, slow motion, start to lower your arm back down to the floor. And once it touches, let your arm melt into the floor and completely let go. Keeping your arm in that position and keep your hand loosely connected to the floor. Slowly just roll your arm like a rolling pin in towards your body so that your pinky is facing up towards the ceiling, letting your shoulder roll forward and up just gently. And notice what happens in the center of your body, the front of your shoulder and then slow motion, ease off. Just starting to unwind from the top there. Doing less, doing less, doing less. And then let your arm rest wherever it wants to rest. Slide your attention over to your left arm now. And go ahead and gently lift your arm, keeping it straight an inch or two off the mat. Notice what's contracting. Notice how the rest of your body might want to respond. And then gently and easily unwind. Start to let your arm slowly come back down to the mat. Watching the muscle that's working start to turn off and let everything go. And now keeping your hand loosely connected to the floor, start to roll your left arm in towards your body like a rolling pin, letting your shoulder roll forward and up and your pinky comes up to the ceiling. Just as much as is comfortable, working within your comfort range. Letting the back of your shoulder blades slide and glide. Feeling the front contract and then slow motion start to unwind. Taking your time, using your breath. And let everything go. back down to your right heel tip your knee out to the side out to the right and if you had chalk as if you had chalk on your heel draw a line and slide your heel up towards the center of your pelvis and then slowly bring your knee up and plant the sole of your foot flat on the ground And then go ahead and do this with your left leg. Tip your left knee out to the side a little bit. Slide your heel up towards the center of your pelvis. And then bring your knee up towards the ceiling and plant the sole of your foot. So now both of your feet are flat on the ground with your knees bent. Come 
coming into what we call a neutral position. You want to find a comfortable position for your feet. So first slide your feet towards your bum as close as you can. And notice how that changes the position of your back. It might, you might notice that it flattens your back. And we don't want that. So slide your feet away from you, keeping them flat still. Don't straighten your legs. Just as much as you can. And notice how that creates a really big arch in your back and causes the front of your thighs to kind of grip a little bit. We don't want that either because you're working in this position. So slide your feet back a little bit so that they're not too close to your bum and they're not too far apart. Find a place where you have a nice natural curve in your low back where it feels like it's very easy to rest in this position. You're not using a lot of effort. And you want your feet a little bit of space apart as if the back of your heels are right in line with your sits bones so your feet are not super wide and they're not right together. And in this neutral position, I want you to imagine that the center of your body is a triangle. So if you were to bring your fingers to your belly button and then walk them down towards the bone that is where the front of your pelvis is called your pubic bone, that's where your two the two hemispheres or two sides of your pelvis meet at the front. That's the pubic bone. Imagine, you can bring your arms back down by your sides. Imagine that there's a string on the front of that pubic bone or a rope. And from that, the, if you're drawing, that's the bottom of a top or the top of a triangle and you're going up towards your two shoulders, the two front parts of your shoulder, those are the other two points of the triangle. So your, your body is an upside down triangle, right? Two points at your shoulders and going down into a V towards your pubic bone. And there's a rope or a string on each part. And imagine that the center of your body is kind of like the fabric of a hammock. So it's loose and flimsy. And slowly, imagine that the point where the rope is at your pubic bone is gently being pulled up towards the ceiling so that the edge of the hammock or the fabric is starting to come up and your pelvis starts to gently roll towards the ceiling or towards your face, noticing that your back starts to lengthen and that the front lower belly has a gentle contraction. Breathing as you need to, and then very slowly, as if the rope was being placed back down, allow your pelvis to roll back to its neutral position. Now bring your attention up to your shoulders. Take a gentle inhale and on your exhale, imagine that the strings are being pulled up so that the front of your shoulders are being pulled up towards the ceiling. Allow your arms just to stay relaxed. Just let your shoulders roll forward and up. Allow your chin to just respond. Allow your chin to roll back. And then slow motion, start to let yourself be placed back down as if the fabric is spreading out on the floor. Keeping your head on the ground the whole time, think of all three of these points now. Take a breath in and as you exhale, allow these three points to start to come up towards the ceiling ever so gently as if they're being pulled up. So your pubic bone and your pelvis is rolling towards your face and up towards the ceiling. 
your shoulders are going up towards the ceiling. Notice how if you were a hammock, the center would cave and collapse and gently sink down as your back rounds. And allow your chin to move back. Allow your head just to go with the momentum. The more your shoulders go up towards the ceiling and the center caves, the more easily the back of your, your chin will roll back. Just breathe there, should be a, just a gentle contraction. And then slow motion, start to unwind. Gently letting the corners of the fabric come back down to the ground, inch by inch. And letting everything go at the end. Remember, you should only be working within your own comfort range never moving into pain or strain and being able to breathe nice and natural go ahead and do that one more time on your own do it on an exhale and think about letting your back really release and round so that the hammock can really sink and the corners can be pulled up. Those three points, allowing your chin to go back for the ride. Everything is contracting in the front. The back is lengthening. Breathe as you need to and slowly unwind. Take your time and notice is it jumpy, jerky, shaky anywhere? Is it smooth? Can you easily control this? And just let everything go. Slowly Tip your right knee out to the side and slide your heel back down so that your leg comes straight out. Tip your left knee out to the side and slide your left heel so that your leg comes straight out. Just let everything go and just notice, sense and feel your whole body. Notice the state of your mind. How do you feel? Does your body feel any different from when you started? How has your breath changed? With the same attention and mindfulness, gently roll onto one side of your body. Use your arm as a pillow if you need to, and just rest on your side. Just taking a few breaths there first. When you're ready, use your top arm to Press in your, your hand, press into the ground and help yourself into a seated position. And if your eyes aren't open already, blink them open and slowly allow your eyes to just look around the room as if you're seeing the room for the first time. And come back to this similar position that you were in at the start. If you were standing, come back up to standing. If you were seated, come back to seated or remain seated. And take a moment now to, again, rate and sense and feel your state of groundedness and embodiment and how connected you feel to yourself. On that scale of 0 to 10, 
What number are you at now? Without judgment or expectation, just notice if that has changed at all for you. Do you feel more or less grounded? Do you feel more or less connected, spacious, embodied? So at any time you can use this practice, even just as a way to connect back to yourself, to come to relaxation, or we can use it to use assessments pre and post to notice the difference before and after some gentle movement. So take your time as you stand up. Maybe grab a drink and walk around a little bit and take this feeling with you the rest into the rest of your day or evening.